going everybody it's joe back in for um week 13 uh, measure up and weigh in um just got done working out uh i definitely stuck with uh, my heavier weights now i'm gonna s stay with that just because i think that's what i personally need to do <sighs> i just like to reiterate to anyone that may watch this and stuff like that you know just Keep pushing on and pushing yourself every day I come home from work it's pretty hard to work out after you know dealing with people at work and just you know busting my ass at work period but then to push myself to you know hit the treadmill and throw, throw up some weights and stuff like that some days I do more sets than others but I got a set number of ones I like to do no matter what plus um, you know the amount of time I spend on the treadmill Kind of switched up a little bit. I didn't want to start getting myself burnt out on the treadmill and then going to the weights because that's usually what I've done. I've been doing um, like five to ten minutes on the treadmill doing a set of uh, doing a rotation in my sets. Back to the treadmill again for a little bit of time, then the weights again. I find that works out a little bit better for me. Don't get blasted out as much and stuff like that. Definitely like the cardio because I like want to continue to try and get rid of my my belly fat stuff like that what little bits left so um yeah definitely emotional thing too um you know a lot of people have different ways of dealing with stuff i think my battle for depression is i just can't sit sit down and just you know do nothing you know i don't mind is a dangerous thing you know mine never stops so i find that if i'm working out or riding Ride my bike and listen to some music kind of keeps me in a better uh, mindset. I know sometimes my, my mind wanders. It's encourage people that, you know, you find yourself, you know, letting that little voice in your head won't take you down that black hole. Just, you know, say stop to yourself and start thinking of something different and find some positive thoughts and other stuff. Trying to get yourself going in the right direction and continuing on. Um, I guess that's all I have to rant about. You know, a lot of stuff's going on with me in private. A lot of people might have their suspicions. I don't know. It doesn't matter. No one asks me. If they ask me, I'll tell them. But um, I'm just still trying to continue on. Um, another thing is I finally got my, my new tattoos after um, the lockdown for everything. So I was kind of excited about that. I had that done on Saturday. Got my next one scheduled for July. Can't wait to get that one too. So, um... Let's get started with my uh, weigh-in. Let's see how fat I am not anymore. So, let's do this. Looks like we're down to almost 130, 133, something like around there. So, that ain't bad. I'll take that. I feel good about that. Take any weight loss. I, people at work keep telling me I'm too skinny. Said so can't be losing any more weight. But, for my frame... And then, you know, my height, I, I don't think I'm too skinny. I've been putting on more weight and stuff like that. So let's, um, let's go over the chart again. So last week, my numbers were kind of sucking. And I think that's just because I hadn't been um, using as much weight as I normally had. And caused, my, uh, caused me to regress a little bit, not drinking as much water, which is cool. I accept it and move on. I got pissed off on one of my days because uh, I wasn't happy with them and then worked out the next day and felt a little bit better about it just accept my numbers and go with it because it is what it is as long as at least I'm still working out so and this is week 13 week my first week before I started actually um, keeping track I was at 35 on my chest um, last week I was at 37.25 which ain't too bad still it's a decent increase um, biceps went from a 12 and a quarter to 13, which is all right. They're still filling out and stuff like that. Thighs, 18 and a half to 19 and a half, which is pretty good. Considering the amount of walking I do and stuff like that, I definitely do a lot of walking and my bike riding, you know, definitely burns off a lot of my energies. I just continue on with my, um, more of a calorie intake and stuff like that with my protein and stuff. Uh, calves, lost some on my calves, which is okay. Went from 14 and a quarter to 14, which, whatever. I'll just keep working at it. Um, 
stomach went from a 32 and last week it was a 29 which is pretty good and that's you know at my gut which is where I'm wanting to lose the weight I'm starting to be able to see a little six pack come through and stuff like that which is what I'm aiming for so start in on getting a measure up I know with uh, my arms or you know the biceps ain't getting as big but definitely right here there's a you know starting to get that muscle bulging out right there and here which is pretty good and it's still kind of filling out through that and my chest is still I just have pretty much nothing here it's actually starting to fill in and stuff so the numbers aren't showing the improvement but my body when I look at it I know it's improving so I guess that's why I don't get too dis disheartened or you know irritated about it but I do get irritated at times but I try not to get too much all right let's measure my chest oh. So chest looks to be about the same. Actually, it's actually shown at 37 today for some weird reason, but that's all right. We're going, we're going to roll with it. Can't fake the numbers. Which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. It could be the fact that I, you know, I get on the treadmill and um, definitely I'm still sweating out a lot of water out of my body. And that's my um me trying to get rid of uh my belly fat which is cool so all right this thing Let's see where my biceps are at this week uh, it's this one so yeah this week showed about 13 and a half so we'll take it and part of that helps is where that new not right there starting to bulge through so that's cool all right. i tell you the sad part is that i think at 45 this is the best shape i've ever been in in my life now let's do our thighs is it 19 and a half let's see what we see where we're at probably about the same might be less i don't know So, yeah, thigh is still about the same. Let's see, I'm pushing it back. There we go. Still 19 and a half, maybe a smidge over. So that's cool. Got a split on the bottom of my foot. That ain't cool. So that's about the same. Actually, it is pretty much. Calves, let's see where our calves are at. Calves measuring out at 14 still. I just, I don't know which way. I flex it this way, it's 14 and a quarter. If I go this way, it's 14. So, go. But I've been doing it like, like that. So, still showing 14 and a quarter. It's weird. Alright, yeah. Let's see where my stomach is. I guess it's you know one of those things where some people can dig deep. I honestly I don't have nothing else to do, nothing else going on in my life, so so stomach is still about the same at 29. It's not bad. I'll take it and run with it. Definitely like that. Start seeing, you know, my abs coming through here. This one's coming through here. If I get this going, I, that's, I'll just have a six pack. I know you see some people have like them 
freaking uh, eight packs and stuff like that, but small stature guy, so that's cool. I know I'm still crazy how big my shoulders are getting and stuff like that. Pretty impressed. So, like I said, um, if you watch this video and you know you're looking for encouragement or whatever, you just got to dig deep, know where you want to go. Um, I'm gonna continue on no matter what's going on in my life and stuff like that. There's other stuff, you know, it could change pretty much, you know, what's going on with me. But until anything else happens, I just gotta continue to push myself, you know, to work out. I think no matter what, I need to keep physically fit, and keep going. It definitely makes me feel better about myself and stuff like that. And um, keeps my mind straight. Hopefully, you know, anyone else doing the same, it will for them. So, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, catch you guys next week on the next way to measure up on week 14.